Hello everyone, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin coming to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show. Omar Gaddafi, the ruler of Libya for over 42 years, is making my parody show today. They allegedly caught him hiding in a drainage ditch in Libya and uh, they captured him and he resisted. He was fighting with them he, and uh, he busted his head open and he was still fighting. I got the whole story, more details after I tell you my disclaimer. You can hear the rest of the story, but here's my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. Do not take anything I say seriously. Do not take anything I say personal. Do not try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still do not do it. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. If you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off my channel immediately. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say. And everything that I say cannot be verified. Now that's fine. That's my disclaimer. You got something against it, get off my channel. Now, I've got a great show for you. I'm Rodney Dangerfield Cousin, and I'll let you know this is some big time stuff. But anyways, you're a Libyan leader, Omar Gaddafi, he was hiding in a drainage ditch, about a three foot drainage ditch with sand and rocks and paper and stuff in it. And they caught him and pulled him out of there. And, uh, you know, they, he was executed now. You, I want to tell you people, this is a personal message for me to the good, beautiful people of Libya. Uh, Omar Gaddafi was a rat. He was no good. He was, he was in it for himself. He was 69 years old. He ruled Libya with an iron fist for 42 years. And um, you, you people, you, you, you got him out there, he's gone. Now, there's a big problem facing you beautiful people of Libya. The next person you get in there, all he is is going to be a Momar Gaddafi in another man's body. He's going to do the same thing that Momar Gaddafi did. Now, you're, Libya is a rich country. It's got billions and billions of dollars worth of oil in the ground. Now, he lived like uh, kings, and uh, he he lived a real rich, extravagant lifestyle for 42 years. He was worth an estimated 50 billion dollars, 50 billion. That if, just if he was making one billion a year, that'd be 42 billion. But <coughs> apparently, he was stealing. Four or five billion, eight billion, ten billion a year, <coughs> and he had all kind of expenditures. He was just paying out money. I've got a real good message for you people in Libya. Uh, here's the deal: the next son of a bitch you put in there, he gonna do the same thing Omar Gaddafi did. And I've got some ideas for you people. The, you need to have a real big meeting and say, look, the next person we put in here, you're not going to be able to take cash kickbacks back up under the table to get your Bush and Buddies jobs. All around the world, politicians work off of constituents. Constituents give them money and they give them a lucrative waste job. They'll get the one of the biggest lucrative waste jobs they give them is digging up the freeway or expressway, then putting new asphalt down. Some of y'all around the world probably been driving. You get on the new asphalt, you go, oh, isn't this nice? Then you get on the old, you go, what's wrong with this? 
That's your politicians creating waste jobs for their bush and buddy. But you people of Libya, here's what you got to do. Tell the new son of a bitch you put in there, all you're worth is three or four hundred thousand dollars a year, no more. And then have all the money come in, every little penny, nickel, dime, a quarter that comes in. You put it on the internet that the money come in. 40 billion, 50 billion, 250 billion a year, whatever comes into the government, you put it on the internet. Where every little penny went to, what it went to, did, and then if, if they create a job, don't don't create waste jobs for your bosom buddies. Don't do that. And have a law that if a politician takes cash money back up under the table, and the constituent turns him in, they'll hang him right away. And if any of anybody listening to my shows, if they have any ideas about how to keep these son of a bitches from stealing an office, please put your ideas under my show. And uh, I was watching a football game at a bar recently, and some people said, Rodney Dangerfield, cousin, who are you for? I say, I don't follow that. They're all crooked as a barrel of snakes. They'll fix the game. They go, no, they won't fix the game. I say, look, they'll kill their wife. They'll murder their wife. They'll have sex with dogs. They'll have sex with other men. They're queers. They're faggots. They're homosexuals. They'll cheat on their wives. They'll have babies by strange women. They say, well, we know they'll do that. But we don't think they'll, they'll fix the game. No, they'll fix the game. I said, look, if you was a player, would you fix the game? They said, yeah, I'm broke. Well, they'll fix the game, too. And the new person that they put in president for Libya, he's going to steal. He's going to do the same thing. You're not any better off until the law is changed. The law's got to be changed. Anyways, look, keep watching my shows. I'm Rodney Dangerfield Cousin. If you want to watch all of my shows, just type in Rodney Dangerfield Cousin. Now, i got to tell you a little bit about who I am, what I'm about. But uh, if you type on YouTube, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin, you'll see over 200 of my shows. And my shows are the best entertainment in the world. But anyways... You know my cousin, he don't get no respect. Seemed like after he died, the monkey jumped on my back. I went to buy me a, a pack of cigarettes, and there's a, there's a bitch boy behind the counter. He carded me. I'm 63 years old now, and the bitch boy still carded me. I tell you, I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for another dude. I don't get no respect. I was having a lot of trouble out of my wife, so I went on the internet to freepornandphonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? If we're alone together, I'll give you permission to go in the front door, back door, side door. I don't care. I love it all. I'll do anything you ask me to do over the telephone. I have to admit it got my dingling excited and I called a live service. She said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. Then I needed to generate some money and my brother had gave me a 55 Chevy he bought in 1955 for $1,850. He drove it a long time, then he gave it to me. I drove it for over 10 years and it had been setting up on the old family farm for over 20 years and I put it on free buy sell trade anything.com once you put something on that company one time it'll keep reposting indefinitely till you sell it it's free to put your stuff on there and free to look it's a great company and then my wife we went on and got a divorce and I put an ad in the personal section a free buy sell trade anything dot com that I was looking for a young girl to go to church and pray with me, go to dinner, mute, go 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 swimming, go everywhere. And a young girl, uh, 21 years old, answered that I've impregnated her. Our love is great, and everything is going real good. If anybody has any criticism, comments, suggestions on how to stop these son of a bitches from stealing an office. Please put it below my show, 
And uh, that's a wrap for me. God bless you.